Hi, kids. Kamau and Selena here. Hi. And this is the city and beyond. Yes. Right now, we are in the middle of beautiful Manhattan at Gramercy Park Hotel. If you've never been, save up with your friends and go. Yeah, it's cheaper Absolutely. if you have more than two people. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely so. But you might be wondering, how did we afford to get here? And that's what we'll be discussing today. We're going to talk about how to afford travel. This is just to inspire you. This is not a Bible or a law. These are not things that you have to follow. These are just some things to give you an inspiration for how you can afford to do a lot more adventuring. And that's something to keep in mind. So hopefully this helps you out because you might already be doing some of these things and you just need a little bit more focus. Yeah. And so let's start with the list. Now, first thing we want to talk to you about is travel savings. Uh, we both have, I think, yeah, you have a travel savings account. I have a travel savings account. I have a separate one for myself, and my bank account, like my checking account, automatically puts a certain amount every paycheck into that travel savings. And I don't take it out. It's not a lot, but if I don't take it out for a while, it's definitely good for paying back my credit card, the airplane ticket that we bought, or a bus ride that we bought, or a hotel <laughs> that we uh, have a night on my credit card for. Any of those things, it, even though it seems like a small amount every paycheck, once it's accumulated a lot, it definitely helps to have an extra payment from my savings account to pay off my credit card. And because the goal is not to stay in debt or to be in debt for travel. You could also just have a regular everyday savings account or preferably an online savings account. That yeah. way it's not something that's in front of your mind at all time. There are several banks that offer these things. Uh, Capital One and Ally come to mind in particular. Mm -hmm. Uh, I use one and not the other. I'm not giving any either one any sort of credence because they both do the same thing. So either one works fine. Just find a bank account that works for you. And if you're not one that has an impulsive nature, then just ask your bank to open up a savings account. They'll be more than happy to open up one for you and just stash a little bit in there. Even $5 a week could be beneficial to you and it's probably more than you spend on lunch on a regular basis and it can do something that can give you memories forever. Now, number two. Number two. So we wanted to, I, if you follow us on Instagram or Twitter, you know that we do a couple of odd jobs or mainly probably one odd job that I do. Uh, I like post up pictures a lot, but there's a great, opportunity and odd jobs because it's something where you don't have to do it all the time and it can be temporary uh, for example one of the uh, one of the things that we do is dog boarding so we dog sit and dog board and I dog walk and even the dog walking like I can get like ten dollars for a dog walk but over time that money accumulates and it's like wow i made a hundred dollars and i only did like this many walks and it's pretty awesome that could be a part of a car rental that can be part of maybe or one night at a hotel or airbnb it can be dinner what while you're away like it can be so many things even if it's like 50 bucks or even less realistically it could be yeah. anything it could be your uber ride okay so another odd job would be cleaning services cleaning services is another so one, yes. we have a friend that did a lot of like i guess housekeeping but not housekeeping like hotel housekeeping or like being a maid but she did like there was one time she did an app that all i don't even remember the name to give it to anyone but there was an app uh which she actually didn't prefer but it was kind of like a on-call uh cleaning service so she did that and um then she kind of got some momentum and did like daycare cleaning and then she found a woman who was looking for someone to clean airbnbs for her and so she started doing that and so like she just had all these cleaning services that she could get a couple hundred dollars a week um and 
pretty much add to her income. Uh, it wasn't for travel, but that's a really resourceful way to use something. And she doesn't mind cleaning. So if, some, if you're a person who doesn't mind cleaning, can clean your house and clean others and not be phased, I think it's a perfect uh, uh, service that you can provide someone to gain more money. Another odd job is... Surveys. If you live in a major metropolitan area, and sometimes not even a major metropolitan area, there are companies out there that are willing to pay you for information on things. And it doesn't really matter what age you are, because if you have an infant or a toddler, they might be asking you, how do they react when you give them this uh, set of diapers? Um, there are people that will send you wireless routers or razors, and they want to know, how it is when you use it inside your home and a lot of times you get to keep these products and they pay you for it um, there are smaller ones that you can do that are uh, there's apps for it some of them are via email there's a lot of surveys out there where people just pay you for information on using their product and how it is in your everyday life another odd job that you can consider is doing like event assisting and what I mean by that is that a lot of comp like event planning companies or PR companies actually contract out people who work the day of the event. So if you think of like a mass, like a huge like wine tasting, uh, like expo esque type of event, they would probably contract out the people who help like bring buckets to them or uh like you know like spit buckets to them and stuff like that or to pour out the uh leftover wine out of the glass uh bring them ice or whatever it is those people are like getting paid like 200 bucks for just being there for the whole event possibly because they just got contracted out and a lot if you live in new york city or any other metropolitan area you probably would find a lot of those uh just around maybe it's like fashion it could be a lot of different things so keep an eye out and you can really benefit from gaining a couple hundred dollars from events like that and in a lot of instances that's enough for a round trip ticket to a lot of places that are um not too far from you but not too close either yeah. personally i have a i don't really want to call it a side business but i have this this thing that I do that I help people with and it's it's uh, financial planning and advice. I help people with their 401k and, and budgeting and, and things like that. And I have about m maybe 20 people that I help with every year. They pay me one flat fee. Some of them like to barter things and I just help them with their financial needs, advice, anything of that sort yeah. for the year. And this is one way that uh, I supplement my income and it's not a crazy amount of money but it's definitely enough to help us travel throughout the year and somebody once told me once a very long time ago don't know if it was a movie comic book or maybe I just made it up in my head <laughs> but uh, if you do something you should do it well and, and if you do it well you should, you should get, get paid it. for it so I'm sure there's lots of things that you guys do that you probably do really well and you can find ways to pay for it if you like to draw, if you do graphic design, if you make music. There are lots of things that people are just looking for that they will definitely pay you for. So you should totally look into it and that's a good way to supplement your income. Number three. Uh, so part-time and overtime is another thing that we listed yes. and it's because you can get a part-time job and make a couple of thousand dollars uh, whether it's seasonally or it's just like well seasonally is probably the most common yeah so like over the summer or the holiday season towards the end of the year or um, all those things like you can make a couple hundred uh well you can make a couple of hundred but you can make a couple of thousand uh overall by just doing stuff like a santa set i have a friend that did the mall santa set and she made a good amount of money managing those it was a lot of work but she did get an extra income from it um i also have friends that take on part jobs like at uh like pizzerias or retail or whatever and they're like I'm just gonna do it from January to April because I have a vacation I want to do in June and all the money I make from that job I'm gonna pay 
off my trip. So yeah. really think about it. And um, one thing to keep in mind is part-time jobs are actually, uh, usually that is, a lot more flexible than your full-time job. So if you just wanna work on the weekends or sometimes during the night, they'll more than likely accommodate and it will definitely help you in the long run. And for those of you who do not want to leave the environment that you're working in, the other option is overtime. overtime. Um, yeah. at, uh, I, I'd say the last job that I had, there was a point where I said my overtime was my part-time job. Yeah. And if you just ask your supervisor, manager, or your superior, hey, is there anything I can do to get some extra hours? Mm -hmm. Or is there, maybe there's something that, a project that you can work on that they really need and they don't know they need and you can get some overtime from that. Yeah, and if you've actually never asked any of your direct, like your direct supervisor, then you can't say it doesn't work or that's not gonna happen. Ask first and see how it goes because you'll be really surprised that they might have something for you to do uh, they're just, you know, no one's ever asked to work on an extra project on the side to make extra money. I think only, you know, it might be like, yeah, we can do it for maybe two months and that's it. And that's more than enough. Right. To make a little extra money to save to the, um, save to the side and uh, go travel somewhere. That's actually like life advice, kids. Yeah. If, if you don't ask, you'll never know. You'll never know. Ask that girl out. Number, Number four, four is budgeting. Budgeting. So budgeting is really important when it comes to travel, and Kamal will tell you why. Budgeting is very important because if you have a destination that you want to go to, then you should look up how much it's going to cost for you to get there, and then you have a trajectory of where you want to go. Yeah. We had another video about picking your destination, so once you've picked that destination, this is where budgeting comes into play. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking, oh, well, I want to go to, uh, China for $200. That's probably not going to happen, but you might be able to find a flight for $600 and it will take you a little bit longer mm -hmm. to save the money for it, but at least you know how much you need to get there and what would be reasonable for you to get there. So budgeting is crucial. And when you budget, try to think of the big picture. You need to think about your accommodations. You need to think about your flight. How are you going to get around? What are you going to eat when you're there? These are all things that you need to line up and think about so that you know how you're going to get there. And if you don't have a side hustle, and you should have a side mm -hmm. hustle, then budgeting is the best way for you to figure out what you're going to spend when you go on one of these trips. That's actually one of the main ways Selena and I uh, plan for our trips. We both budget in very different ways, but our individual ways work for us and we know exactly how much we want to spend on what and when we're going to go as a result. Right. It brings us to number, number five. five. <laughs> and number five is credit cards. Credit cards is not a substitute for anything else on this list. No. It's a, an accompaniment. Accompaniment. How do you say that? Accomplice. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Accom uh, accompaniment. Accompaniment. Yeah, yeah, so I did say it right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, it's supposed to work with the other things. It's not supposed to substitute yeah. the other things. And most of these things you should do with something else. It shouldn't be like you just do dog sitting. Uh, you're probably going to need something else also. So, credit cards is definitely one of those things we want to make sure for the asterisk. Like, it needs to be with something else or you are doomed for failure. Right. And that's not just in traveling, that's in life. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that'll tell you not to use your credit cards. I know mm -hmm. specifically Mark Cuban said, if you want to be a millionaire, then you need to take your credit cards and burn them. I want you to keep in mind though, Mark Cuban is a billionaire. And he said that after he was a billionaire. I'm sure that if he was struggling at some point, he might have thought about using his credit card. Not that we're condoning using it for critical situations, but we all different. So, yeah. what we're saying is, we like to look up flights ahead of time because we picked our destination. And we know about the median price that we want to pay for it. Right. So if at one point or another we see a flight and it's lower than what we had budgeted for, we want to get that immediately. But if we don't have enough money for it, this is where credit cards come into play. And then we know within a month, we'd be able to pay that off, maybe two. Okay. So I know there's people out there that say don't use credit cards, save up for it. Good for them. That's right. completely fine. We budget to travel because traveling is what we do. 
and credit cards help us to accommodate what we wear and what we want to do if we don't have the money readily available at the time that we need to purchase it. So that's something that you might want to look into. Also, a lot of credit cards have a lot of benefits. Some of them you get a free check bag. Some of them they give you points and you can get to a destination. There have been a couple of times where we have totally used points from a credit card to go somewhere and we get a flight for maybe $100 to a destination that would cost way more than that. And our friends would be like, oh, I want to get a flight like that. Can you teach me how? No, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, because we're not travel hackers, this is not a skill to learn, this is totally yeah. just budgeting and planning. Yes. yes. And as we're doing this year of travel, we almost got sucked into that and we caught ourselves and tracking should be an accompaniment with, with budgeting also. Like track what you're spending, whether you know how to budget or not, tracking it, you will just gradually learn how to budget based off of what you've done in the past. So your past will actually make the future even better. And you have, if you have questions, put a, you put it down in the comment section below, and we will definitely respond. Or if you, if anyone else watching sees the comment and has advice, you can also contribute to the discussion. And if you'd like the advice that we gave here today and want to see more videos like this, please like the video. Give us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you know when we're going to post a new video. Yes. And if you need more of us, in between the time of these videos, we are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Yes. I think that might be all. Well, we've recorded this maybe five times now, but we just wanted to sign off properly. Yes. I don't even know if Kamal's in the frame, but... It's my birthday, I'm ready to get out of the hotel room, and I hope this video was very helpful because we recorded it twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we will see you soon. Hopefully we're not blurry because this is the last time we are going to record this. I gotta make sure the angle's right. And... See you real soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.